Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay and kind of a little bit of a review for the Char 2C Fist. This is a currently rank 1, battle rating 1.7 heavy tank in the French Grand Tech Tree and costs 2100 Golden Eagles, likely due to its meme sainthood status. That being said, this is a huge tank, essentially was developed towards the end of World War One, as you could tell, and is just a ridiculous vehicle that relies on high explosive filler in order to blast its way through enemies. This thing has over 7 kilograms of explosive filler equivalent within its 155 millimeter Schneider 155C howitzer shells. It is ridiculous. It has a 20 second reload, give or take, depending on your crew skill. Very, very slow. 500 horsepower with a 70 ton weight limit. Not all that much armor, but of course, that's how a lot of vehicles were back in the day. They were heavy without much armor, largely because they weren't really laid out perfectly and this has 12 crew members it is just a, a ridiculous vehicle this is like a small classroom full of crew and it even has an engine dead set right in the middle so a very strange vehicle but a very very cool vehicle now that being said let's get into a few matches see how we can do i'm going to kind of again try to review it a little bit along the way and uh, see exactly how good this thing is while having a good time as said let's get into it so again like i said i will be doing kind of a uh, mini review and let's just kind of get off on mobility right now and when it comes down to it it has a 15 kilometer per hour top speed max now because it weighs so much it has no problem just completely destroying trees and all that so I'm going 15 right now let's hit this tree and see if it slows me down any hardly I mean really negligible but, of course, if you want to go across open terrain, that is a different story, as you're not going to go any faster than 15 unless you hit some sort of a steep decline. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this thing like a 1.5 for mobility, because it's not quite the slowest. Uh, you have the T28 and the T95, which are slower. By the way, I did a review on the T28, if you guys want to check it out. Definitely go ahead and do that, but uh, this thing is pretty damn slow nonetheless okay we have some enemies way off there in the distance let's see how exactly far this guy is I'm interested hopefully I didn't screw that up I did okay he is 350 so go ahead and I, I've got my controls for this a little bit better nice got a kill this guy de Ooh, does he even know I'm here so I can also set, you're going to definitely want to learn how to set your control. Your controls, don't really know why that went down like that, but it did. Okay, aim up a little bit. Got a miss. But I do have a frontal turret, or a frontal gun here. Can I hit him? Probably not, it's not a flexi gun. So we have this guy here, he's looking at me. How far away? Not entirely sure, but I'm just going to aim down a little bit. Uh, I was thinking he would be in front of me, which is kind of a shame. And this is one of the biggest problems with this vehicle, at least in my opinion, is that it is uh, a little bit difficult to use. So we should be at 300 meters, got the kill. Very nice. When it comes down to that cannon, you really have to have your range finding spot on. Because if you don't, you'll look like a fool with your pants on the ground. But otherwise, I mean, it's a very powerful cannon. Um, extremely powerful. That is a heck of a lot of HE. That's actually more HE, I think, than what you get in the Alpha F1, which is phenomenal. It means that you could actually probably up tier this if you're crazy enough. Okay, uh, I just have to manually adjust here. Can I shoot over that hill? I can! Woo! But I've only got three crew members left here. So again, this is one of the big problems with this vehicle. It's hella fun. And uh, I will be using that word hella a lot. But it's not incredibly useful. And I had the Igo Co. Wait a second, isn't that the... Never mind, I thought the Igo Co. was the uh, Rogo for a second there. But that being said, let's get into the next match, see what we can do. This thing is just ridiculous. 
So with that more clinical view of the uh, 2C BIS kind of out of the way, let's go have a little bit of fun. Now I will tell you this, when it comes to its armament, I've been kind of thinking about what sort of grade I would give it. I'd probably say around a six and a half, more likely than not. All my grading is very subjective, obviously, right? But it is powerful enough to kill basically any ground vehicle in War Thunder. However, it also has a terrible reload rate and among the worst muzzle velocities in game with only 240 meters per second, which makes it extremely difficult to use. So because of that, I don't really feel like I can rate it so incredibly well, even though it's a home run bat, which I guess is probably a good description of it, right? This thing is pretty much the home run bat of low BR. Um, you know, meanwhile, you have a vehicle like the 2C BIS, or the, um, rather the Char B1 Terror, which used to be, I think, 2.3 BR and was my favorite heavy tank at low BR. However, things have changed since then, but this might even take up the reins of it, even if it is a bit of a meme vehicle. Oh, we have an enemy right here. Can I hit him? Got the hit, got the kill. Very happy with that. Cannot complain. I'm going to go help my buddy repair now. But like I said, this thing is a home run bat. The only problem is that even with an expert crew, I have a 20 second reload, which is crappy. Let's see. Does this guy even notice me? He won't. <laughs> okay, I might even have to give this thing a 6.75 out of 10 just for, for armament. Out of just sheer fun factor. Like, if you are close range, this thing is pretty much a shotgun in terms of just how nasty it is and will just completely annihilate anything. I mean, even an MBT, this thing could probably kill um, with a well-placed shot. So we have, it looks like an A13 up there. Kind of want to fire, however... Ooh, is he still there? It looks like he is. Just gonna kind of make a quick aiming adjustment, and I got him! Let's see how this thing holds up to a few hits, however. Okay, he's turning away. But nonetheless, I've got three kills after three hits. Can't complain. That guy's gonna run into some of my allies. Uh, one of the other big problems with this vehicle is its ammo type. So, I can't shoot through that. At all. Like, I shoot through it, and then I have to wait another 20 seconds. I thought I saw someone coming down, and I was right. Got the kill! Very nice! And I'm being shot, it looks like, in the engine by this fella right here. Did he damage my... He did! What a meanie! So let's go turn. And unless he dies here... Okay, I'm gonna have to kill him myself. Okay, then. So we have five kills with a B1 BIS. And a big problem with this vehicle, in my opinion, is just how much... I mean, this thing is going to soak up enemy fire uh, to a tremendous degree. So I just died... That said, let's get into another match, but thus far, it seems like survivability is probably a 7 out of 10, largely because of how many people are in the crew, rather than because of armor. So that said, let's get into another match. A very fun. So at this point in the video, you might be asking yourself, well, Tankenstein, is this thing worth it? And if you're just looking at a cost per, you know, I guess, good measurement, right? Like dollar per like how good this thing is relative to other vehicles honestly probably not it's a rank one it doesn't have the best multipliers in the world it's a big huge clunky vehicle with an awkward cannon it doesn't even go all the way around it only goes about 180 degrees and it has a pretty bad turret traverse however uh can i hit this guy i can however that sort of thing happens and because of that, this vehicle is extraordinarily fun. I mean, genuinely, this is one of the more fun vehicles I've ever used in War Thunder. And if you just look at it again from like an accountant standpoint, just from, hey, well, what's this going to get me in the game? Then yeah, I don't really think it's worth it in that regard. You know, it's 2,100 Golden Eagles. There are better vehicles that cost... 2100 Golden Eagles that are higher BR. I think even the uh, the Char B1 Terror is about that much. Can I hit this guy? I can. Very nice. 
Always love doing that. But in general, this guy has a smoking radiator. I want to help him repair. But in general... Oh, it looks like there's another guy over there, I think. Yeah, right there. So... If you're just looking at it from, again, cost, I would say get the Char B1 Bis, right? Or the B1 Tear, rather. That thing is more worth it than this. It's... Not going to get you as many kills, but it will help you grind through Tier 3 in the tech tree. It's a better vehicle for that, whatever. And it's still a great vehicle and a really, really fun vehicle all its own, especially in a down tier. However, in terms of fun, this is one of the more fun vehicles I've ever, ever used in Worth. And, I, like, I've played hundreds, maybe over a thousand vehicles in this game. And this is definitely among the most fun. It's just a wacky, ridiculous vehicle. And again, I think I gave it like a 1.5 out of 10 when it comes to mobility. So it's got atrocious mobility, regardless of the BR that you're looking at. This thing has a very questionable gun, not because it won't kill, but because it just, it's not the best, right? Like it has a really terrible muzzle velocity. Long range shots are difficult. It's got, uh, you know, of course, a mediocre reload. This thing is just not really going to be the best. And then you have things like that, right? Like, this is a heat shell, or an HE shell, rather. So what happens is if you hit something before, you know, before you want to hit the enemy, you're not going to be able to actually get the kill. So there are many problems with it. But, again, overall, this is a hell of a fun tank. So, yeah, I mean... I would recommend it. I give it my Tankenstein seal of approval, if only on the fun factor alone. That's it. Ooh, okay. I was going to try to fire at that guy over there. Does he even know I'm here? Probably not. Ah, farts, man. This thing is freaking fun. Have I ever had an, um, anything that wasn't a one-hit kill with this? Why are you just sitting there, man? Why was he just sitting there? Oh my gosh, this this is... It's just such a meme mobile. I don't even care what happens to me here. It's just that fun to me. Okay, I see the enemy right there. Ah! And there we go. Bad aiming on my part. And now I've got a 20 second reload, even with an expert crew. Which, by the way, expert crew hardly costs anything. I definitely go ahead and get it. Um, that is well worth it. Also, they should be able to... You should be able to get, um... Crew skill by trading SL, I think. I think that'd be a really neat thing. And here I am. Finally, I'm going to die. I do not see a way out of this. So, assuming I'm dead... Let's just see how exactly long it's going to take for somebody to actually kill me. Okay. Ammunition load exploded. Because, of course, that is going to happen. Let's see where I hit... I mean, this does have pretty big ammo racks, so again, I'm going to give it around a 7 out of 10 when it comes to survivability, only because it has so much crew. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This was, again, kind of an impromptu gameplay slash review. I felt like it would be really worth it on this vehicle to kind of do a combo video, especially being that it is a very expensive vehicle relative to its BR and relative to its rank, so just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it, as well as have a good time. So that said, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.